putting the hay out this time of the year. 1507, she's always a leader. Since we're putting the hay out this time of the year already, um, we're gonna do some hay tests. I've never done it before. We're gonna check some, uh, what's in our hay, basically, that we've got from almost three different places uh, around us. And so Marissa and Brooks and I are gonna do that here in just a little bit. We're gonna take some samples of our hay and then we will eventually take it to the extension office. The extension office will send it off and uh, we'll get our samples back of what's inside our hay. So we're gonna do that in just in a second. Speaking of hay, uh, our neighbor just cut, our other neighbors, this is a, a neighbor to the south just a little bit here and uh, it was full of native grass. It had a little bit of Johnson in it, but it was full of native grass, and this guy hadn't cut it yet, and he asked our neighbor, Richard, who we who borrow a lot of stuff from, and who also cuts hay for us, and uh, hooks us up with the hay that we purchased from him. Hey, Daddy. Yes? We got Doc and Ty. We got Maya and Ty. Where did Maya go? She just jumped out. Oh, and, um, we get to buy these bales of hay out here. So, and it's hey, literally. What thing? <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna. Can you count the bales of hay? One, two, three, four, five, six. Keep going. There's more. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. <laughs> Okay, I think that's probably, <laughs> we got we got somewhere in there. But uh, the hay, this hay pasture, it's only a t nine or 10 acres next to us, but um, we're able to get this hay right here. I mean, literally we're in our pasture and we get that pasture and it was full of, full of native grasses, which is what we seek out for our hay. So um, as soon as we're done spreading these out, we're gonna go back up to the front and we've got two different stacks of hay from two different places basically. You <laughs> got a guess so up there. <laughs> to do something more heavy duty but this works pretty well it's just throw it out in the pasture so you don't have to drag that big heavy one around Daddy, yes babe we got rocks we can lick it. yeah we do have some salt <laughs> rocks from redmond utah that we get to lick Thinking of Redmond, right here, we, Marissa and I, got to go visit the Redmond Minerals actual mine, salt mine, in Utah, and uh, we can't wait to tell you about it. We'll tell you about it in an upcoming video. Bison love this stuff. Bison 90 right here, it's, uh, it's basically their 90 selenium, their selenium 90 with uh, molasses, because it, uh, it's just an enhancer for bison to try to um, encourage them to eat a little bit more when you put molasses in it. They like molasses, and so they'll come gobble this up. It's mined in America. Mined in America. I love it. Yep. It's good stuff. It's still making it, but she's <laughs> All right, should we leave it for the bison to nibble on? What does it feel like, babe? It feels like sand. Kind of like sand? 
pretty cool, isn't it? It's mined from the earth. I'll take it home. No, you can't take it home. We gotta leave. Rock it home. Yeah, we can, we gotta leave it for the bison. Bring it here, Maya. Or Dusty throw it. He got away, Dusty. Careful. Well, I don't want it to. It's pretty neat. It's Take it off. Oh, we're oh, up. That, off. that piece came off. What kind of turtle is it? It looks like a slider. Take See all the moss? It He's been living in the water most of his life. Take, take that one off. You can see the moss. And it's still wet. So he must be moving from pond, pond to another pond. He's, that means it's going to rain. Right? You hope. Is that what that means? Well, when they cross the road. Really? I always heard that when a turtle crosses the road, it's going to rain. Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a really good thing. Pretty neat. Big old fella. I want to touch it. No, you don't touch his head. He could bite you, babe. Cora. Hey, girl. What you got there? Got some old world blue stem you're chewing on. <laughs> Lots of old world out here. I'm glad you're eating it. Okay, so what we've got here is our hay for this winter. Um, Marissa and I took some hay off of this property right up here. We took some hay right off this property right across the road from us. So we've got our actual prod here our tester it's a homemade version made from the uh, osu extension office here in murray county um props to roseanne for uh hooking us up with this anybody um in murray county can come get this and then what also she gave us was some sample bags i told her we were going to take three or four from uh, three different three or four different pastures of hay and so we're going to take these core samples of it. it's gonna be my first time so if i mess up I'm not doing it right I'll fix it. Somebody will correct, correct me. <laughs> but uh, so we're going to use this here and then we'll put all of it in here. We've got to fill out what test we want and then we'll go from there. Do you know how this works? Yeah. Here. You'll take this. Let's get it from the first set. We know that we know that this hay came from our neighbor to the north. So. You do. And then you use that. That's right. Yep. That's screwed all the way in so you don't break it, hun. There you go. It's like a giant needle. Yeah. Okay. Just keep going, I guess. This is the same. See it right there? Yeah, it just like slices through all the different yeah. blades. Yeah, but in there. I guess I'll just walk through there and try several of these. You can get on top we of the bills. All these came from.
been part of it. All right, so this is pretty nifty, actually. All right, so we've uncorked it. Here's what we've got. There's a whole bunch of hay there. So we gotta remember that to mark it, but we know that which one this is. So we're gonna call this the Wells Place. Empty. So see it. Basically just a bunch of Wow. It's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, and so we'll close this up. Nice and neat. Seal it off where it can't open. Okay. And we'll mark this for our Mommy. knowledge. Will's place. Mommy. What babe? Mommy. So basically, um, the first I think we got 50 bales of hay somewhere in there off of our north neighbor, uh, the Wells place. So we stacked all of them. They were the first one to stack. So it's easy to remember here. Then we got 10, only 10. I know it's not very much, but um, made a little deal with our neighbors over here to the east behind Cora. And it made 11 on a couple of acres, not much. And I told them they could have one because they needed it for something. No big deal. And so we took 10 and brought over here just to add to our inventory. So. It was packed with native nuts. That was one of the reasons why we wanted this is because it has lots of native. So I'm gonna take core samples of this. I can just hear it slicing in there. What we can test on this is lots of things. I think you can test nutrients on it and stuff like that, but um, mainly what we wanna know is what our protein is. And so this will help tell my neighbors not only for us and what the bison are getting but it'll tell our Richard who's cutting it what you know what he's getting to tell our neighbors what's in their grass you know hey you've got lots of native protein keep it that way you know don't let the Johnson grass come in lots of Bermuda see bison don't like Bermuda lots of cattle people like Bermuda but bison don't like Bermuda so Okay. It's okay. <clears throat> so it'd be good if you tell them, say, hey, this hay has lots of protein because you've done a good job of manicuring it and keeping up with it, not spraying it, and just keeping it clean. You can, you, know, can kind of influence them and tell them, hey, keep it like that, and I'll keep getting hay off of you. They take care of it because it's good native hay. Maybe it's high in protein and nutrients. Nutrient dense is what we want. Okay, what's up, Brooks? All right, here's our second core sample from 10 bales of hay from a neighbor just right across the road. Who is, they were brush hogging it one, they brush hogged it a couple of times early in the spring and summer, and I said, hey, so don't brush hog that if you don't mind. I'd love to get some. I'd love to get some hay off of it. And he said, "Yeah, sure." So they got a bale, and we got ten because they didn't need. They don't need a whole lot. They don't have livestock. And so I was like, "Don't brush hog it. Let me let me get some hay off of it, and we can clean it up for you." So there we go. Okay, babe. I'm so very hungry. <laughs> the last. Uh, the last one I'll get from, we can do four now because we, he just cut that hay that we just left next to Dunbar and them. So we can get four samples. Yep. Their other sample yeah, came from Primrose Road and it's over by my uncle, aunt and uncle's place, Keith and Janie's. And uh, we keep hay over there. And so that'll be our third sample. Four sample will be straight from the pasture that just got cut. Uh, would it be interesting to like sample maybe even last year's hay just to see the content the comparison? Yeah, well, we let's could see do that. what proteins left. Like how? Oh yeah. You know, I mean, it's a year old. Like, what's the quality of that hay Daddy. protein wise? Still, yeah. you know. True. Yeah, we can do that. Daddy, sure. I'm so hungry. Okay, bud. I know what you're after. You're after that Bermuda. Yeah. 
this. I'm sure you'll nub it all the way to the ground. All right, something else I want to show you guys. I haven't been very good at giving you an update on, but I'm sorry. People have asked about it and it has been a while because there's been a lot of work that's been going on. And we like to focus on the ranch and the animals, which we should, but this is the addition of the barn that we closed in. I just want to give you an update on it and let you see everything. All right, so a lot has changed in here. You can see, whoo, lots of change. So probably the last time I showed you in here, we just had insulation uh, sprayed everywhere. I think I did a little segment on that um, and maybe a little bit of us closing this in over here, but just to kind of give you an update on what's happening, what it is. So we've got this east wall completely drywalled, as you can tell. I got this wall here drywalled. This one's textured. This one's also textured. This is gonna be one of my favorite walls. I'm gonna put up some wood over here to make a kind of a faux wall. So I'm excited about that. I've done that before and enjoy doing it. And I think it's really cool. So this is the door to our office. Um, but uh, this is my favorite part is right here. Yep, looky there, that's some visitors. I need to cut some of that pipe there. Um, so this will be our west wall. Kind of our main focus here is the view here. I uh, plan on putting a gas stove here, a um, little fireplace and stay warm, heat us in the winter, and, and uh, it's going to be around on propane. So if we ever do lose power, we've got some heat here in the winter. Possibly TV right there should. And then we're going to walk into the kitchen area. Uh, sink here. Got your little windows. Sorry, there's still stuff everywhere. because It is a working progress. And then you can kind of look out there and see the bison some. So from there, we've got a utility room, a little attic space, a washer dryer, private bathroom, shower, and then a big, huge, handicap accessible bathroom. We wanted to do that because we think people will eventually be able to come out here and maybe see the bison. Um, so, and then right here, we'll do an island kitchen. This will be all the kitchen area open to this big hangout space right here. So we can hang out as a family, friends, whatever it may be. And we're going to appreciate the bison. And so this is a view right here that you're gonna get. And we're very excited about it. Just got this uh, painted again on the second coat. There's some stuff missed the first time, but no big deal. It is black on that insulation if you've never seen an insulation before i know my brother-in-law and sister um at orange family homestead they got theirs painted black too um as well uh you know that insulation is just not very pretty and so the black will help it and then we brightened it up in here with these walls so we'll paint and we'll paint and make it really bright in here so i know it's like oh this is going to be here this is going to be there this is gonna... you kind of visualize it a little bit it's, uh, we're getting cabinets built currently. Uh, they're almost done for a matter of fact, but, um, you know, it's, uh, it's been a working progress. We've, we've done a lot of the work ourselves here and there. Of course you have to hire people to do drywall and stuff and texture. I don't trust myself on that stuff. My brother is coming today with flowers, heating and air, and they're going to do central heat and air in here. Uh, we're going to have some uh, the conduit or the uh, ductwork is going to be exposed ductwork in here, and they're getting started today on that. So excited uh, for that process and to wrap it up. Really, once they come through, we'll be able to finish drywalling. And uh, on the floor, we're just going to do a concrete uh, sealer because I love that natural look of concrete. But the best part about it is right here, right? So you can come through these sliding glass doors and you come out here. You can enjoy this view. And uh, there's a lot of big trees in the way right now, but um, in the winter, pretty soon those leaves are gonna start falling off. But this is one of my favorite spots. You got the Arbuckle Mountains, some of the oldest mountains historically in the world. Used to be as tall as the Rockies at one point. 
not so much now. They're basically big hills uh, to us locals. Um, but I-35 cuts right through those mountains, and you can see them from here. Pretty view. Uh, the bison aren't up right now, but uh, someday they'll be out here hanging out, and we're excited to have that and show it. So, anyways, that is what is going on at the Ponderosa. These suckers are wild looking. This is a modeled Houdan. Got a little chick at Tractor Supply, uh, tractor supply um, several months ago, but is old enough now. And it's hanging out. Modeled Houdan. Wild looking chicken. Thought it'd be fun to have. Now I've got too many. Um, anyways, hey, a couple things going on. One, mark it down in your calendar. December 16th is the Oklahoma Bison Sale. And it's going to be held for the first time at the state fairgrounds in Oklahoma City. Very excited about that event. Um, I'm, I'm a part of the Oklahoma Bison Association. And uh, if you know of anybody that are selling bison, it doesn't matter what state they're in or where they're located, you can come and you can bring animals to sell or you can just come watch the sale. We'll be uh, there in Oklahoma City, December 16th. If you have any questions or information about purchasing bison or selling bison, you can uh, be a part of this sale in Oklahoma City, December 16th. Information is on our channel. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you soon.